Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, my presentation topic is uh, effects of heat flux vector and viscosity on wave dissipation and instability in rotating anisotropic plasmas. Uh, as particular focus, maybe, maybe for uh, its application, maybe for solar corona. Uh, this is uh, it is a portion of uh, my published work. Maybe it is uh, one section. Okay, the, the basic basically. The purpose of this uh, topic was to deal on that of the instabilities, uh, but uh, here I am presenting uh, some portion that is the uh, application section for that one. Okay, a plasma is it is uh, as you all know that plasma is it is a full set of matter, which is a quasi neutral. Almost all of the observable matter in the universe uh, is uh, in a plasma state, which is around maybe ninety nine percent. It can be found naturally and it can be found also in the laboratory. Uh, naturally, uh, plasma is found at the core of the stars. Okay, maybe we can suppose that here we have also, uh, like let's say, uh, solar corona, lightning discharges, and solar winds, and uh, aurora borealis. And we have a lot of uh, stuffs here. So, we, uh, my focus is on the solar corona. Uh, solar corona, uh, it has. Uh, this kind of things, let's say, uh, where there is wave dissipation is, is one of the mechanism that, that is a solar corona uh, that is heating. Uh, that dissipation means it is an order of motion of the waves uh, are converted into disordered motion of particles. And as you see here, there are uh, uh, loops, okay? There are coronal loops. And these coronal loops, um, it has uh, also a filament and it is filled by a, a plasma. It's filled by a plasma, and when this one is filled by plasma, and it just it bursts out and like by forming a recognition, and it can uh, uh, eject into interstellar medium. But as you see here, the the corona, uh, I mean, uh, it has, you know, different kind of, you know, it is uh, the interior part and its exterior part. At the core of the corona, uh, there is a hydrogen hydrogen fusion reaction. And this produces uh, some kind of, let's say, it just transformed uh, from four hydrogen, they combine together and they form helium and the rest of the mass is converted into light. And that light is uh, radiated, uh, that can pass through radiation, uh, through the radiation zone. And then it goes to that of uh, a convective zone, that is by convection. And here, as you see, the temperature uh, is now it's increasing at the corona. Okay, this is corona, basically, it is very, here stiffened up and here uh, there is a corona filament and here you have a single corona loop you can have this length l and there's also uh, that is some parameters several authors studied the solar corona heating mechanisms uh, that's halug halug uh, et al and also uh, offman also just uh, uses some kind of uh, uh, studies for the investigating the uh, mechanisms of the corona heating. It's generally believed that the heating of the solar corona is caused by waves. Uh, it's uh, okay, it's just waves originating in the photosphere and propagating into the corona where their energy is uh, dissipated. The medium through which this waves propagates is in the general uh, permitted by magnetic fields complicating the behavior of the uh, uh, propagating waves. And this wave uh, dissipates due to the viscosity rotation and the heat flux uh, corrections. Now this one is, let's say, it is a set of uh, equations. Okay, it is a set of equations uh, for, uh, this is a set of equations. Here I use the momentum uh, equation for, let's say here we have a stress tensor and we have also a magnetic uh, force and we have here uh, some uh, viscosity uh, <clears throat> effects and we have also here is rotation. For my purpose, uh, for this, only for this section, uh, we will ignore the genus effect. And this one is a, a continuity equation. And here we have the induction equation. Uh, so this one is the this the the thrust tensor pressure 
have linearized like this. The linearization of this pressure tensor can be calculated. Okay, I will show you this one uh, uh, later. So here the magnetic field has some kind of perturbation along that of the z direction. The divergence of perturbed viscosity also uh, uh, with just uh, after some kind of uh, like linearization uh, by using Fourier uh, space, uh, we have uh, the the along the x axis and along the y axis and along the z axis. That is the Bragansky viscosity for let's say this is for compressional uh, uh, terms because there is full uh, compressional uh, I mean full uh, full coefficients of Bragansky, but here uh, we use only the compressional parts one. And this is the induction equation. Uh, we can uh, work this one uh, like this. We can write this one like this, the, the induction equation. And this one also, the, that was the pressure tensor. It can be computed uh, uh, like this one. And this one is the, it is a, the closed, closed set of equations which describes the heat conducting plasmas. It can be written as uh, Wang. And when we, Linearize this equation is, uh, let's say, equation 12 up to the equation uh, 15. Uh, we have the heat flux profiles. The heat flux profiles can be uh, described by, that is, let's say, for a parallel heat flux, we have this kind of expression. And for a perpendicular heat flux, uh, we have this kind of uh, these uh, expressions. Uh, and similarly, when you work for a parallel profile, for a pressure profile, the pressure profile can be computed uh, from the above uh, uh, set of uh, heat flux equations. We have the parallel uh, pressure and we have the perpendicular pressure has this kind, these forms. Okay, where this one is, those are the coefficients, those are the terms that are here, and these are theta uh, and alpha, beta, and this one are given here. Uh, on substituting the spatial and the time derivative of the above uh, expressions uh, into that of the uh, momentum equations or that of set of equations. And finally, we can work that of the matrix in the matrix form. One can write uh, those set of equations into uh, that of the equation of motion. And what you can put finally in the matrix form and that is equals to uh, zero. And we will obtain the dispersion relation of this one. Okay. So having this dispersion relation, uh, we can uh, analyze for uh, different cases, uh, let's say for, uh, for a parallel and for perpendicular and uh, uh, for different kind of rotation, like in parallel to the magnetic field, uh, the axis is parallel to the magnetic field and the axis is also perpendicular to the magnetic field. So here, uh, the above dispersion relation that is equation uh, 22 represents the modified form of the dispersion relation by uh, that is of equation 14 of Ferrari. Uh, due to the presence of the heat flux correlations and plasma viscosity, the reduced of the above dispersion relation in various limiting cases. Uh, for example, if we ignore uh, that of the uh, uh, viscosity co coefficients, uh, we exactly uh, get the equation 22 of, of uh, uh, I mean, that, that of Bragg. Ram Prasid Prajapati's uh, uh, form. And finally, uh, when we just work for uh, the, uh, this, we did this for various kind of cases uh, to investigate that of this uh, instabilities uh, for different cases. But here I just took only the one section uh, of my work uh, that is just maybe to work on that of the solar corona because I was motivated uh, from the, the work of uh, Ofman et al. in 1998. He just he did this kind of uh, approach for uh, investigating the uh, dissipations and like uh, other waves. So since the effect of rotation in solar corona is significant to discuss the angular rotation in energetic solar wind. Uh, Pinum, Sharmaital. Therefore, the present dispersion relation may give rise to new dimensions for setting the combined effect of rotation, heat flux, uh, and viscosity on the waves and instabilities in the solar corona at heating uh, mechanisms or heating problems. It's evident that the MHD wave plays a significant role in the transporting of energy and also momentum in astrophysical uh, systems. For typical coronal loops, uh, which is uh, plasma beta p that's less than uh, 1%, coronal loops are smaller okay, than 
the gravitational scale here, and hence the effect of gravitational or that of the uh, genus effect. We can remove the genus term, okay, for uh, to apply um, my set of Morial equations to uh, for, for solar corona application. Uh, we have treats that is for a smaller, uh, that is for a small scale, and uh, this one, the, the genus term may be ignored. And we have, uh, let's say, for axis of rotation parallel to the magnetic field. Here, uh, I only took uh, two, uh, uh, poor, two cases of the uh, dispersion relation, uh, that, that is the parallel and the perpendicular one. One of the limitation of this kind of, this kind of technique is, uh, it is, it doesn't give you a clear information for maybe for oblique propagation and uh, other things. That's for the, let's say, for the axis of rotation parallel, the magnetic field, that is omega x is zero. Uh, so then that is uh, the rotation axis is, let's say, maybe about that z. So the dispersion relation equation 20 can be reduced this form. Okay. I will use finally this one by non dimensionalizing this term. Uh, and also for the case of that is uh, parallel propagation case, and uh, for uh, let's say uh, rotation uh, about x axis is at zero, and uh, we have uh, this expression, and we ignore maybe uh, that the genus term finally. So when we uh, treat uh, the out of the transversal propagation uh, of that is uh, equation this one, okay, equation this, uh, when we ignore uh, the, this genus term. When we ignore uh, this genus term for our case, uh, here that is the study of fast magnetic waves in sonar coronal loops is motivated by uh, initial conditions given by Hoffman uh, at Hoffman uh, that is uh, 1998, taking the following parameters for magnetic field uh, number density uh, that is uh, plasma density and also uh, mass density and that is Alfieven wave and that, that is a, a scale A. And considering the plasma beta parameter that is a perpendicular that 0 0.04 uh, for that estimating condition, that is equation 23 can be rewritten uh, as this form. That is, uh, so for, fa for fast waves, that is uh, described by uh, this expression. Uh, and uh, for fast wave, and we consider that the initial condition is for velocity uh, of that, let's say, Vx, uh, that is, uh, we consider these things okay you consider these things and where that is uh, this is the expression for that is tau uh, it can be calculated from the result of the dispersion relation for transverse mode with rotating perpendicular to the magnetic field and we obtain uh, a result for uh, perturbed magnetic field that is uh, with this scale uh, and we have also the velocity along the x-axis and we have also compute the Alfieven waves, Alfieven waves for these uh, uh, conditions. So here, the effect of rotation on the solar corona parameters versus the Alfieven time scales are studied. Uh, let's say it represents the density fluctuation, and we have uh, that's with velocities, and uh, you find also Alfieven speeds. Uh, let's say for omega Alfieven speed, that's omega for a zero, that is black curve, and you have uh, that's a blue curve for the omega parameter just changing to zero point five and 1.5 and four that is the time t is at two times of the uh, alfieven time the fluctuation in solar corona parameters get significantly increased due to an increase in the coronal rotation the fluctuation gate disappears for uh that is uh, 0 0.6 uh this is it is the fluctuation gate disappears after uh that is 0 0.6 uh, and here, showing the time scale for solar corona heating in its active regions, the Alfeven speed carries energy from the sun and it, it carries into outward and cascades from the large wavelengths to a shorter one. And further, the shorter wavelength dissipates by heating the solar corona and launching solar winds into the interstellar uh, medium. And this one, the other one, the Alfeven speed that we calculate is, it is uh, maybe it's around, uh, which is uh, 1,250 kilometers per second in this time, that is for time 1.6. This is a good result that uh, we showed from another uh, works, which is done by, which is, this is uh, in a simulation result using the value of t equals two second for values of this and magnetic field is one and uh, this density and the scale lengths uh, and plasma magnetic field and plasma density respectively into the ideal 
that of the equations of that is adaptive uh, refined magnetodynamic solver module uh, that is used by uh, this author that is uh, uh, Wiper et al. As the alpha speed has the value of it's around 1,250 uh, kilometer per second. So uh, as you see here uh, in this result, the alpha speed that we how, uh, that we estimate is it is just around it is uh, 1,500 uh, 1,250 uh, kilometer per second. Uh, so that for the slow mode wave, now, now let's see for the case of for slow mode waves. For slow mode waves, I try to uh, investigate or some kind, uh, let's say for like the, the heat flux effect, uh, viscosity and uh, uh, rotation effects. That is for the slow mode, we take just took for a parallel uh, propagation case uh, for these conditions, uh, providing that this is uh, the slow mode waves uh, we have. Uh, the, this one for slow mode wave that is uh, uh, acoustic speed it is uh, yeah it is smaller than that of uh, the magnetic one and here we have visited is it is a uh, uh, initial that is v not sine of omega t minus kz where v not is amplitude and k is the wave number so that the density is it is given by this expression and using the fact that the linear oscillate, oscillate oscillation is uh, for vz is uh, this uh, for v not sine of pi uh, that did over L and that cosine of omega naught t uh, as exponential of this. Uh, we can find uh, that of uh, from uh, non dimensionalizing, okay, by non dimensionalizing of uh, this equation, okay, by non dimensionalizing of uh, this equation, um, uh, we can uh, compute uh, by using some parameters, we can compute uh, the uh, that is, we can see that the effects of them is the viscosity scales. That is, let's say, uh, for the effect of viscosity on the solar corona parameters versus alpha band time scales are studied. And this, uh, that is, figure eight represents the density fluctuation, and B represents the velocity and shows the magnetic fluctuation and the alpha band uh, speed. Uh, and for us, for the constant parameters, that is for a heat flux, that is, is a non dimensional form of uh, that data, and for uh, that is omega at rotational a, that is this parameter. Uh, the slow mode wave dissipates with due to the an increase in the viscosity parameters. On the other hand, the fast mode wave, the alpha wave gets increased with uh, increasing the coronal rotation. An application of the present work can be uh, discussed in the solar convective zone of differential motion in the presence of plasma viscosity, coronal rotation, and pressure anisotropy. Uh, the convective zone. Uh, at the high latitude, it lags behind uh, that of uh, the uh, uh, the core, and uh, at the low latitude, it is um, uh, vice versa. And this gives uh, or this sets a turbulence that is stress uh, nature. It serves as high viscous medium. Okay, and this is uh, the upper panel showed that is the alphaban uh, alpha speed uh, versus uh, that of the uh, that is that is uh, scale of that is x over a that is um, and here by varying the viscosity terms uh, we saw that for slow mode and for fast mode okay for slow mode and for fast mode it is for slow mode and this one is also for fast mode uh, by that for different rotation parameters and for different that of uh, viscosity parameters and by using uh, the magnetic field and uh, that is uh, uh, this is a plasma density and we have also the temperature t and we have the scale a and magnetic field beta parameters for parallel and perpendicular here the curve showed that due to the increase in the viscosity parameters there is a decrease in the slow mode waves in the bottom panel the sharp velocity gradient is observed for uh, large rotation that is uh, this one is there is large rotation so there is a sharp peak okay that is in the bottom panel the sharp velocity gradient is observed for a large rotation parameters and for uh, alpha even time is much much less than that of uh, uh, collisional times that is uh, for fast mode wave yeah already on complex yeah yeah for fast mode wave Alpha wave increases with increasing the rotation parameters. The fast mode are completely damped 
after uh, 0.6, the effect of rotation parameter becomes negligible. And to investigate the effect of viscosities and heat flux parameters on the solar conditions, the normalized dispersion relation, this one can be uh, using this one to the data of the uh, uh, dispersion relation for uh, the case of uh, uh, parallel uh, propagation. Uh, we have uh, the result that is uh, the, this is the non dimensional form of uh, that is uh, a collagenless heat conducting and rotating anisotropic uh, plasma. And for plasma parameters chosen to be magnetic field, that is cho chosen to be uh, 10 Gauss. And this is the number <clears throat> density and temperature. And we have the magnetic field uh, plasma beta parameters. And this is the normalized wave phase speeds versus the normalized wave number. The phase velocity decreases due to, uh, due to uh, not only the increase in the wave number along the magnetic field, but also due to the increase in the viscosity parameters. Uh, here, it is evident that for slow mode wave, uh, determined as ratio that is acoustic to that of the magnetic uh, uh, ratio, for the slow mode waves, uh, its uh, acoustic speed is much larger than that of the magnetic speed. And for fast mode wave, the magnetic speed is it's much greater than the sound speed. From the curve, it is clear that the phase speed decreases rapidly for a smaller value of the wave number, and it becomes stable for large value of the wave numbers. Due to the an increase in the heat flux parameters, the phase speed increases while it decreases due to the increase in uh, viscosity parameters. Okay. Thank you very much. But you have considered uh, gra self gravitating plasma and being in being celebrity and I saw the term being with the help of analogic data. So, uh, what is the real role of that? Uh, uh, Okay, uh, let me answer for number one. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, from my from my discussion, uh, uh, from my previous, I mean, from the, my beginning of my discussion, uh, I explained for you that uh, we ignore the genus effects. Okay, I mean that is the self graph channel effect. Okay. Which 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 one? Hmm? 23. 23. This one. This is equation twenty three. It is. Uh, it's correct. It's correct. But you see, I ignore I ignore this uh, gravitational term for the case of application of solar corona. Okay. Yeah, I told you from the beginning, from the beginning of my presentation, uh, I talk, I just told you that the paper is, it is fully deals on the instabilities. It is, this is one section. Okay. The last section of my uh, paper. Okay. So I ignore, I ignore for my application purpose, I ignore the genus effect and I try to work only for that is for, for most yeah. okay so thank you again so thank you okay.